is Huyen. Uh, is founder of Textiling Girl. And uh, today, uh, thank, thanks for Ting. Ting is the founder of Hoa Tien Brocade. And uh, Ting có thể đứng dậy đi. <laughs> and uh, she's Thai ethnic artisan. Yeah. And uh, she, uh, she, she doesn't speak English. Uh, so, but, uh, so firstly, I will introduce Textiling Girl. Uh, my project and how I collaborate with her to organize a, a range of textile event like workshop to uh, exhibition uh, something uh, etc and the video you just see before uh, is the exhibition uh, butter story uh, in um, the creative artillery in Tung of Van and we organized this event uh, last year in October uh, and, and firstly I will introduce a little bit uh, how, uh, how I, uh, why I create Textile Linker and uh, what, is the, uh, what Textile Linker do. Uh, firstly, uh, actually, I'm uh, first. I'm not designer. I'm not uh, learning in textile. I'm not textile artist. But um, by the way, when I uh, actually I, I learn economic and marketing, and uh, after my study, <coughs> after my study in university, I come to Viet uh, Bien Province in Northern Province uh, in Vietnam. And you can see a little bit about textile. And um, Điện Biên Province, uh, Điện Biên Province is northern, uh, nor northern mountain province in in Vietnam. It's a remote area, and in this area there are a lot. Uh, almost people is Thai ethnic artisan. And when I work in this area, I work for microfinance project, a French uh, non-government organization. And we support for uh, to give a loan and um, uh, support a service to develop uh, uh, economic service in this area. And we work closely with the Thai women, and we support them uh, to support the uh, Thai Lao ethnic textile in Nasang develop their their economy. So eight years ago, I start. Uh, I fell in love in ethnic textile by chance. <laughs> uh, you can see a lot of butter and everything. I really love the, the butter and technique and after, uh, after I, I, I uh, support this uh, cooperative to, to uh, apply for a fundraising for, for, for fundraising uh, for social enterprise uh, project of CCIP. So that's why I have a chance to have a scholarship to study abroad in Belgium for two years. And when I come back to Vietnam, I meet her in Hanu Gip Show in uh, 2000, uh, 2015. And uh, Hanu Gip Show is organized by Vietcraft. And when I come back to Vietnam, I work in Vietcraft to develop uh, the craft uh, village uh, and how to, how to preserve uh, and develop uh, the economy in, in, in tra traditional craft village. So when I work in the craft, I meet Ting. And uh, we work together, we work together in the craft uh, and we go in many craft village uh, in, in, in Vietnam, uh, it's like in, in Hoa Binh province, in Nghệ An province. And uh, when we work together in Vietcraft, and after, when the project's finished, uh, we would like to continue, keep continue to do something together. Uh, because uh, we, we, uh, we, we see there are a lot of uh, potential development in craft village, but the people don't know a lot of information about the craft village, about artisan and everything. Uh, you, uh, you guys quite difficult to find information, uh, resource in textile or... Uh, because the artisan normally they don't speak English and uh, it's, it's quite difficult for them to have uh, like marketing or communication skill. They just focus on their work. 
to weave, uh, weaving or embroidery. So that's why I want to like uh, take a marketing task for them. After when I uh, go, I, I work for many craft uh, project like precious culture as well. And uh, when I work for this project, I, I see there are a lot of uh, I meet a lot of designer and. Uh, to make the connection between designer and artisan to work together to do something. And here is the exhibition in London. We work, uh, uh, we, we make the research, uh, residency research in Vietnam. Uh, there are three countries, there are Vietnam, Thailand, and Myanmar. And each country, uh, we introduce uh, the, most, uh, the most outstanding textile, natural textile. And in Vietnam, we introduce hemp in this exhibition. Uh, so uh, when, when I talk a lot with the, uh, the designer or the uh, international researcher and we found they quite really hard to find information. That's why I created Textile Linker in uh, 2000, uh, to 2018. Uh, and Textile Linker is non-for-profit project actually. I just I just work for this project. Uh, uh, I have another job, so I work. This one is just like how to promote uh, the work uh, of artisan and how to connect the artisan with another people. And the firstly, because I work closely with the artisan in many craft uh, project, so I want to tell the craft story how mm. to uh, making process. Uh, and the uh, meaning of butter and the traditional costume and a lot of story behind uh, the traditional craft and you guys don't uh, have potential to have access to this research because normally research from uh, non-government organization or uh, so they, they normally this uh, information is not public a lot uh, so that's the firstly, you, you can see on the website I share some making story and I keep doing that, uh, make video or make uh, so uh, live storyteller about the making process. And uh, secondly is the project. So project, I normally I work uh, with the artisan uh, and uh, the different many uh, people. Uh, we would like to encourage uh, the interdisciplinary uh, people to involve in the project to work together to do something. Uh, so if you have any idea about collaboration, we can talk with us. And so now I will introduce what we do together between me and Ting for in the project. And um, maybe firstly, uh, Ting will introduce a little bit about Hua Tien Phuket. Yeah. And uh, Ting and me work together in Vietcraft, and I uh, and uh, Ting is the daughter of uh, the Thai ethnic cooperative leader in Nghệ An. Her name is Sam Thị Bích. Her mother and uh, she uh, she her mother have a cooperative in Nghệ An, and we work with her in the project of Vietcraft. And now Ting will introduce more about Hoa Tien Project. Uh, xin chào tất cả mọi người uh, rất vui uh, được gặp mọi người ở đây và chúc uh, tất cả mọi người một buổi sáng vui vẻ tràn đầy năng lượng. Mm -hmm. So she uh, say thank you for everybody to come today and have a good talk this morning. Uh, tôi uh, xin tự giới thiệu về tên tôi xin lỗi là vì tôi không biết tiếng Anh nên là chỉ nói được tiếng Việt bạn Nguyễn rất là người dịch uh, sang tiếng Anh cho tôi. Yeah. And uh, so she tells me don't speak English so I will help her to translate. Yeah. Uh, tôi tên là Sầm Thị Tình, uh, sinh ra và lớn lên ở bản Hoa Tiến, Châu Tiến, Quỳ Châu, Nghệ An, là người dân tộc Thái. Uh, ở chỗ tôi là dân tộc Thái đen, uh, khu vực tôi sống là gần Lào. Uh, uh, she was born in uh, Hoa Tiến village, Nghệ An province. Do you guys come to Nghệ An? Uh -huh. Yeah, they are Cynthia. <laughs> she come with us. And uh, so, uh, and uh, in... Uh, She's a Thai ethnic uh, people, black Thai. In Vietnam, they are black Thai and white Thai. And she's black Thai and near Lao uh, border. 
À, đối với người dân tộc Thái chúng tôi thì à, khi mà sinh ra và lớn lên thì mình sẽ được tiếp xúc với những cái gì là tinh hoa về thổ cẩm của người dân tộc Thái. Vì khi mà một đứa trẻ mà được sinh ra thì sau 3 ngày thì sẽ làm vía. Làm vía sẽ có một cái vòng tay dây đen bằng cái dây tràm để buộc cổ tay gọi là cầm vía của một, một đứa trẻ để giữ lại cho luôn luôn cầu mong cho mạnh khỏe. Và cái sợi dây đó được làm từ cái sợi bông và nhuộm tràm của người dân tộc. Yeah. Uh, she she explained uh, the textile. The textile uh, is uh, have uh, the important role in uh, spiritual life of uh, Thai people. Uh, when the child was born, uh, they they uh, they would have the uh, indigo brush uh, with the curtain, her homegirl curtain, is to. Uh, give a hope of health and chance for this child. Yeah. Thế nên là về vải vóc đối với người dân tộc Thái chúng tôi là rất là quan trọng kể cả lúc lúc sống hoặc là lúc đi sang bên thế giới bên kia đó những cái đấy là không thể thiếu ở trong cuộc sống và sau khi mình mất đi cũng rất là quan trọng đối với người dân tộc. Yeah, the the textile is not only at the beginning when the child was born but it's keep uh, Uh, going with the Thai people uh, when they are growing and when until when they are dying. Nhà yeah, và khi tôi được khoảng bảy tám tuổi thì tôi cũng đi lên rừng theo mẹ tôi để uh, tìm những cái nguyên liệu để từ những cái nguyên liệu tự nhiên từ trong rừng để mang về để nhuộm vải dệt vải để làm những cái bộ trang phục cho chính mình và những người thân trong gia đình của mình. Yeah. And uh, she told when uh, normally uh, for the Thai girl. Uh, when seven or eight year old, they uh, the, the, they start to uh, um, come with the mother to go in the forest to find the natural ingredient to for nature dye, and start to learn the embroidery. Uh, yeah. Khi khoảng sáu bảy tuổi thì tôi học theo, tôi học theo thì những cái chân váy rất là đơn giản. À, theo thì những cái chân váy đơn giản xong rồi uh, những cái họa tiết uh, truyền thống thì những cái loại hoa uh, rồi những cái con vật rất là đơn giản thì sau khi mình được khoảng 15 với 45 tuổi 16 tuổi thì cái độ dài của chân mình mới có thể dẫm được cái khung cửi thì mới có thể dệt được những cái tấm vải để tiếp theo những cái uh, công đoạn dệt vải rồi học những cái hoa văn rất là khó của người dân tộc mình yeah. And, uh, she told, uh, uh, Seven or eight uh, year old is uh, try to embroidery with a simple pattern, and uh, when uh, she um, has uh, 15, uh, 15 year old, uh, um, so uh, tall enough to can uh, weave uh, on the weaving machine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sau đấy tôi cũng đi học như các bạn khác thì cũng uh, may mắn hơn một số bạn là được đi học hết cấp 3 rồi cũng đi học. Uh, Uh, cao đẳng uh, chung là cũng hơn với lại uh, những bạn uh, trong bản làng của mình thì khi tôi ra Hà Nội thì cũng uh, được tiếp xúc với lại uh, một số uh, cái sản phẩm thủ công của chính bản thân ở uh, chính quê hương của mình chính uh, cái đồng bào dân tộc Thái mà mình đang sinh sống nên uh, tôi cũng vẫn tiếp tục những cái việc theo thù và uh, cung cấp cho những cái shop đấy uh, when when she study in Hà Nội and uh, she uh, keep doing uh, um, keep doing uh, embroidery in Hanoi and weaving so uh, she tried to find the shop and uh, so to to keep doing that and to give uh, sell the product to the shop in Hanoi when she's student yeah À, sau đấy thì tôi học xong thì cũng không lựa chọn về cái nghề của mình đã học để làm công việc đấy mà tôi lại trở về quê hương để à, phát triển những cái sản phẩm thổ cẩm và giúp mẹ tôi à, à, mang các cái sản phẩm thổ cẩm của mình à, mang ra thị trường để giới thiệu với lại à, du khách à, à, trong nước và nước ngoài về những mặt sản phẩm thổ cẩm chính mẹ mình dệt ra. When uh, when she finished her study, she come back to her hometown to support to her mother to sell the product in domestic uh, uh, market and try to export or to sell the foreigner people. Um, 
À, sau khi đưa các cái sản phẩm của mẹ mình đi bán, đi giới thiệu ở khắp nơi thì cũng tình cờ cũng đến chỗ Việt Pháp làm và cũng đã quen được Huyền và tình với Huyền là cũng đang kết hợp với nhau về cái à, kết nối các cái hàng thủ công mỹ nghệ đến với lại những người nghệ nhân và những à, à, khách hàng muốn tìm hiểu về các cái sản phẩm thủ công mỹ nghệ của à, không chỉ là người Thái mà là còn người Mông, người Giao vân vân trên And, um, she told when uh, when she uh, go to the when she try to the sell the product of uh, in her hometown Uh, she uh, knows some uh, some fair trade of uh, organized by Viet Craft, and uh, after she uh, work in Viet Craft, and uh, by the way, she meet me in the Viet Craft project, and uh, now she keep doing to introduce the product to the everybody, to the people, yeah, to know more about the Thai ethnic textile. Not only Thai and textile, but also the another textile of of uh, ethnic group. It's like Hmong, uh, Zhao, and etc. À, và bản thân tôi thì cũng có <cười> riêng một cái uh, gọi là cái thương hiệu cái website riêng về cái hoa tiến vô kết. Uh, tại vì tôi lấy cái chữ hoa tiến vô kết là hoa tiến là nơi đã sinh ra tôi uh, và nơi đã um, um, cho tôi những cái ý tưởng về thổ cẩm. Và sau trong một quá trình như thế thì tôi cũng phát triển từ những cái thổ cẩm của chính quê hương mình để tạo ra những cái sản phẩm uh, dễ dàng sử dụng và không chỉ người dân tộc sử dụng mà tất cả mọi người ai cũng đều có thể sử dụng những cái sản phẩm thổ cẩm đấy uh, tôi cũng có mang một ít ở bên dưới nên là cuối ngày cuối buổi chúng ta sẽ có thể tìm hiểu một chút về các cái thổ cẩm và từ những cái sản phẩm mà mà chính thay tôi làm nên yeah. Uh, so uh, when, when now she work in um, she have family here so she work in Hanoi and uh, she have uh, um, uh, her her own brand is Hoa Tien Proke and Hoa Tien is the name of the her hometown village uh, and uh, she told here she bring some some product is from her cooperative as well but uh, her product uh, she developed by herself yeah. So you can uh, come to visit uh, some product uh, uh, on the table. Uh, yeah. So um, uh, because uh, Ting and me work together in the craft, and uh, after the project, we try to do something together. We organize a, a range of textile event. Because uh, when uh, she, uh, she, uh, she work in Hanoi, but she just come to like some, uh, the people don't know really how to make the craft. And uh, that's why when they don't understand how to make the craft, they, they will think, oh, it's like too high, or, it's, uh, or they don't really appreciate uh, the craftsmanship and uh, the, the craft product. That's why uh, I want, I, I told her, We should to do the workshop, uh, so we set up the workshop uh, together. Before she do make the workshop, she just keep doing with the, her mother to develop the product. Uh, but now we want to organize the workshop so the people can join to the workshop. They can understand how to make uh, uh, the product, and when they understand how to make the product, uh, they will appreciate more the product. Uh, so the firstly we uh, do is a nature dye workshop and the secondly is a Thai ethnic embroidery workshop uh, and lastly is like is a Thai ethnic weaving workshop and this one uh, the the t uh, this uh, t-shirt I I wear is like ikat weaving technique and uh, weaving by her mother <laughs> weaving by her mother And after we we organize uh, a exhibition um, in uh, the creative artillery, and thanks to the staff of uh, the creative artillery in Tongopan, uh, they offer the space for us for exhibition, and uh, all of this textile is come from to her hometown with uh, one more than one. Hundred year old, yeah, and there are a lot of 
textile they cannot do it again anymore because this one is uh, only the old uh, woman artisan can make it and now uh, sadly there are a lot of young uh, people young girls cannot um, keep doing this uh, they go to the Hanu or another city for working and they don't keep doing the uh, tra tradition craft anymore so that's why we want to have this exhibition so the people can appreciate the tradition and find the market for this product yeah to to connect with the designer or another people to to see this product and they have the idea how to develop more the collection and here they are uh, uh, Cynthia uh, she's a designer uh, she have the brand is uh, uh, future tradition yeah and uh, she worked with uh, uh, the artisan to make her collection and that's why we want to do that's to find the designer to work with the artisan so they can keep doing together to develop something better this technique is really special because you need to tie the web or the web before weaving uh, so and in in the end it's uh, tie the web before weaving yeah so we organize this one so uh, you guys if you want uh, because um, I work uh, I work with thing to set up the workshop and now uh, when she can continue to do the workshop uh, she can invite the translator or invite some people to translate because firstly I will like linker for the people to know her and uh, to set up the textile workshop and now uh, she can keep doing the workshop and you guys if you want to contact to do the workshop or tour you can contact with her yeah so uh, we also do not only the textile linker not only um, collaborate with the Thai ethnic artisan but uh, we set up the workshop in her home village as well uh, actually I, I, I create this project because I find some remote area and the people don't know more about the village and the artisan don't have the workshop yet in this area so we and uh, Michelle uh, joined with us in this workshop yeah and lately I just uh, with with the experience in uh, develop uh, and set up um, the workshop a textile workshop product so luckily I um, uh, I'm invited by a volunteer for education organization they want to set up a, um, a cultural uh, cultural space in uh, Lung Ku, Hà Giang mm -hmm. uh, do you guys come to Hà Giang before yes. yeah yeah so in Hà Giang uh, they are uh, in uh, low there are one um, one one Lolo village uh, named Lolo Chai in Hà Giang, it's really near, uh, it's in Lung Cú. and if you guys go to Hà Giang, you can visit uh, this village and uh, you will discover some special technique and um, uh, in, in this consultant team, there are me and there are Ling, uh, she's there also, she's designer, yeah, <laughs> and there are uh, the, the, and the, and there are another people is now she's lecturer of uh, fine art university so uh, we, we build a team and to work together to uh, how to think the uh, the now because she's a, a special research in uh, traditional costume and uh, she uh, she is lecturer in Hanoi uh, a fine art Hanoi university so she will uh, write, she will, uh, she will research about the traditional costume, the meaning of butter and everything to, to decorate the space uh, so the people can, uh, can read the story and everything in the space. And I work with the artisan to set up, to think about the uh, textile workshop product and um, when, when I make the research, I see there are two uh, techniques uh, really special. The first one is the embroidery. Uh, the embroidery with the cross-sticking stick, uh, 
of the Lolo artisan, and you can see uh, they are special. And we choose some simple butter so the people can keep uh, learning to doing that. And the second one is the weaving. And you see, they don't need the weaving machine. They use the body become the weaving machine. Yeah, and they can keep to weave the bracelet and everything with this one. So you guys, if you pass Hazang, you can come and discover this workshop. I think you can enjoy it. Yeah. So, uh, the last one we want to do is like, because this, this uh, the textile legal is the project, is a non-profit project. And I I keep doing um, that, and the first one I opened the group uh, Vietnamese textile art and craft in Facebook group, and the people can uh, share. Everybody can share the event about craft or textile in Vietnam, so the people can join in the group. And if you I know something about knowledge, and we can share together. And the second one, I want to do the textile mapping project because uh, now we don't have uh, any information about craft village or uh, the brand or tour or workshop about craft and technique in uh, textile in Vietnam. So I want to make the textile mapping project. Uh, so the people, if you guys have any information, you guys can share with me uh, and the second one is the textile and craft story when you come to the craft village and you have uh, at least uh, inspiring story you can share and we can put on the website and with uh, your credit of your name and everything so we build together the knowledge and share together yeah so if you have any information here's the contact of me and thing Yep. <laughs> Thank you for your attention.